Hello, my name is ZK from Application Center Singapore. Today, I will show you guys the features of Queen 4 SO Ring Redundancy Module from Phoenix Contact. Over here, we have two 5M Queen 4 power supply, and at the downstream of the power supply is connected to Queen 4 SO Ring respectively. Then, the output of the Queen 4 SO Ring is connected to a 10M adjustable load. In today's video, I will simulate port at several locations, namely the incoming of power supply, output of the power supply, and a fault at the redundancy module. Before simulating any fault, we need to configure the power supply so that both power supply have parallel operation turned on. Thanks to NFC connectivity on Queen 4 power supply, we can easily configure the power supply via mobile phone app. On Queen power app, click on read via NFC and hold it in front of the Queen power supply. Tap on output voltage and change the output to 24 volt and turn on parallel operation. Click on the NFC button and hold it in front of the power supply to configure it. The beauty of this app is you can easily clone the setting to another power supply like how I do. With the configuration already done, we can now switch on both power supply and set the adjustable load to 5 ampere. As you can see, the LED light are showing 50% on both power supply, indicating that both sub power supply are supplying 2.5 amp each to the load. Let's see how a Queen 4 SO ring would help. Let's simulate a power supply failure by switching off the circuit breaker on the right. As you can see, there's no interruption on the operation of the load and the functional power supply are showing 100% now indicating that currently these power supply are supplying full 5M to the load while the functional power supply are supplying the load I can now replace the 40 power supply by removing all the cables without any interruption We can now replace the 40 power supply with a new power supply. I can now easily install the new power supply without causing any interruption to the load. With the new power supply installed, make sure that you configure the power supply with the, new, the same configuration. Now, the configuration has been done with the new power supply and we can switch it on. As you can see, the LED bar graph of both power supply currently is at 50%. Now both are back to the normal operation, where both are supplying 2.5M each to the load. Next, I will simulate short circuit at location 4 and 5 as shown in the diagram to this power supply. As you can see, the L DC OK LED on this power supply is blinking, whereas this LED bar graph is showing 100% indicate that this power supply is supplying full 5M to the adjustable load without any interruption. With our Queen 4 SO ring, it can isolate one power supply to another from short circuit and prevent any backflow of current. Lastly, I will simulate short circuit at location 6, which is the input of the redundancy module at our Queen 4 SO ring. 
As you can see, even though there's a short circuit on the redundancy module, the other power supply and redundancy module are still supplying full 5N as indicated by the LED light to the load. Again, thanks to SO ring, it can isolate short circuit from one redundancy module to, the other, to another redundancy module. That's the demonstration of redundancy module from Phoenix Contact, our Queen 4 SO ring. I've shown you the working principle of redundancy module and how can a redundancy module help you to prevent backflow of current and isolate between power supply to another power supply. With redundancy module, it can ensure continuous power from your power supply and that's what we call as true power reliability.